Hi everyone, it's Miss Allen and it is time for story time. Let's get started. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round and one little child sits quietly down. So last week we finished talking about the letters of the alphabet and I thought that since we did letters, we should do numbers. So we're gonna do numbers today for story time. So our first book is called Jane Brockett's Clever Concepts, One Cookie, Two Chairs, and Three Pairs, Numbers Everywhere. Do you see one cookie? two chairs and three pairs. Alrighty. Can you count how many fingers you have? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Is that all the fingers I have? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten fingers. How about how many ears? How many ears do you have? Can you count them? Two, Miss Allen has two. How many noses? One nose. We're gonna count all the way to 20. One, two, three, let's begin. One, here is one cookie and one flower. One cake on one plate with one candle. Two plus two. One plus one equals two. Two statues. Two painted owls. Now what comes after two? Three. Now we count to three. One, two, three. Three golden pears, three pink tulips, and one, two, three sugary donuts. Now we can find four things that are same and four that are different. How many chairs? One, two, three, four. And now there's four flags, but they're different, aren't they? And there's four, we talked about these last week, what are those? Those are squares. There are four squares. There's two the same and two different because two plus two makes four. Five is a useful number for counting how many toes on one foot. See, there's the foot. Or for counting how many cherries on this tree. You see them? One, two, three, four, Five cherries. Six. So many flowers. Six little flowers stitched on a cloth. And six pots of flowers in spring. Do you see them all? Six small pots of bright flowers in the summer. Should we count these? Let's count these flowers right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty, can you count how many eggs are in this bowl? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. How many fruits in a row? How many think these are? That's right, we are on seven. And there are seven socks in this box. Seven. Isn't that cool? I like the colors on that. What number is next? Eight. Add one more to seven and you get eight. So can you see how many apples, how many pencils, and how many petals? Should we count one? Which one should we count? Let's count the pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pencils. Nine buttons in neat rows. Let's count the buttons in each row. One, two, three. There are three buttons in each row. And three rows of three buttons is nine. 
Look at these cookies. Nine lines of colorful cookies. Now there are more than nine in the lines, but there are nine rows of cookies. Aren't those gorgeous cookies? What comes after nine? 10. Now we can count to 10. You can use your fingers to help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What comes after 10? 11. After 10 comes 11. And 11 red strawberries, all the same. And 11 different crayons. Comes after 11. 12. There are 12 numbers on the clock to help us tell the time. 12 balls of thread and 12 bright cupcakes. Do you see that? Do you see that number 12 up there at the very top of your clock? Miss Ellen's arm just will not reach that high right now. There it is, 12. What comes after 12? 13. 13 pins and 13 stripes. After 13 comes 14. 14 can be seven knives and seven forks or 14 flowers scattered in a circle. 15 is halfway between 10 and 20. 15 leaves in the fall or 15 tulips in the spring. Ooh, one in six makes 16. 16 cookies make a very tall pile. 16 buttons make four tidy rows. See, there's one, four, 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 four. Oh, I almost didn't see that one. Tiny little one right there. <gasps> 17. These shapes are made with lots of little beads. How many shapes are all together? Should we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 flat circles and 18 round balls. 19 smiley cookie people waiting to be eaten. 19 jigsaw pieces waiting to be put together. And after 19 comes 20. 20 eggs on a table. If they take them all away, how many are left? Zero. So, I want you to work on practicing your counting this week. Look around. What do you see? What could be counted? Like right behind Miss Allen are the spokes on this chair. I could count those. Or maybe the tires on your mom and dad's car, um, the fingers on your hands, the toes on your brother. Um, how many cookies you eat today? How many fish sticks you get for lunch? You can count all of that stuff. Practice your counting. And so we're going to sing a really cool song. We're going to count up to 10. And we're going to make bubbles. Are you ready? So when we pop them in the second verse, we're going to go like this. Pop, 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 pop. Are you ready? So sing along with me. Here we go. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop. Then we're going to go pop, 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 pop those bubbles, pop, 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 pop those bubbles, pop, 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 pop those bubbles, all the little bubbles go pop. Now we're going to go backwards. Ten little, nine little, eight little bubbles. Seven little, six little, five little bubbles. Four little, three little, two little bubbles. One little bubble goes pop. Good job. Alrighty. Our next one is called One, Two, Three Peas. And this is by Keith Baker. And there's a series of these books with elemental peas, and I can't remember what the third one is, but there are letter ones and number ones, so we're gonna do the number one. One, two, three peas. 
One little pea searching. Look, look, look. Two little peas fishing. Hook, hook, hook. Three little peas boating. Row, row, row. Do you see the little peas? It's hard to see them. They're little round ones. Four peas planting. Grow, grow, grow. Five peas painting. Brush, brush, brush. We find five. One, two, three, four, five. Six peas traveling. Seven peas jumping. Eight peas racing. And nine peas dancing. You see him spinning around on the nine? Ten peas building. Should we find them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven to nineteen. Skip, skip, skip. Should we skip that? No, we better count. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 peas cutting. See, cutting out the 20. Now we've got 30 peas hawking. Can you see all those peas? So many peas. What do you think comes after 30? We're counting by tens now, I guess. 40! 40 peas napping. 50 peas puzzling. Wow, look at that puzzle. 60 peas watching. What are they watching? They're watching fireworks. 70 peas singing. La, 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 la. Look at all the peas everywhere. They're down here. They're up top. 80 peas laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Can you see them all? My goodness, they're everywhere. 90 peas floating. 100 peas counting. Happy, happy as can be. Look at they all have a number. So if you wanted to count them, you could count them all. We're not going to count them all, are we? Because it will take us forever. Please count again with us next time. One, two, three. And then they cut the numbers on the back too with all the peas. So we're going to do our 10 little bubbles. And then I want to teach you a new one called Five Green and Speckled Frogs. First, we're going to put up the words to 10 little bubbles. There they are. Make sure that you're putting your fingers up even if I can't see them. Okay. One little, two little, three little bubbles. Four little, five little, six little bubbles. Seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles. Ten little bubbles to pop. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. All the little bubbles go pop. Alrighty, we're going to count backwards now. Ten little, nine little, eight little bubbles. Seven little, six little, five little bubbles. Four little, three little, two little bubbles. One little bubble goes pop. Alrighty, next our new song is called Five Green and Speckled Frogs. Alrighty, so five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some delicious bug. Yum, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green and speckled frogs. Glub, lub. What comes down from four now, right? Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some del most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Ready? Now we're at three. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, 
eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green and speckled frogs. Globe, globe. Like that already. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped in, in the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green and speckled frog. Are you ready? One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Then one jumped in the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Alrighty, so we're going to do both those songs again before we do our flannel board. But first, we're going to do our last story, which is One, Two, That's My Shoe by Allison Murray. So if you've ever had your mom or dad do One, Two, Buckle My Shoe, Three, Four, or three, four, out the door. That's kind of what this is. And they show us the numbers and the things that we're looking for. You ready? One, what is it? One, one dog. Two shoes. What does he do? Hey, that's my shoe. Three teddy bears and four blocks. Jump right over them. Out the door. Five butterflies and six flowers. Doggy tricks. Seven trees. And eight clothes. Through the gate. Nine chicks and ten chickens. Shoo! Friends again. So we're going to do that one, and I'm not going to say any of the pictures. We're going to do just the palm. You ready? The one, two. Hey, that's my shoe. One, two. That's my shoe. Three, four. Out the door. Five, six. Doggy tricks. Seven. Eight. Through the gate. Nine. Ten. Nine. Good one, do Ted. Shoo. Friends again. Did you hear the rhyming in there? They did a good job of rhyming, didn't they? So we're going to do our two songs. First, we'll do the ten little bubbles together. And then I'll put up the words to five green and speckled frogs so that you can practice those. And then we'll come back and we have a fun little ladybug counting flannel board. Are you ready? One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. Pop, 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 pop those bubbles. All the little bubbles go pop. Ten little, nine little, eight little bubbles, seven little, six little, five little bubbles, four little, three little, two little bubbles, one little bubble goes pop. Okay, now let's put the words up to five green and speckled frogs. Here it is. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Ready for four? Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, 
eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green and speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Now we're under two. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were, how many? I forgot, are we on two? Let's go two. Two more green and speckled frogs, glub, glub. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green and speckled frog, glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green and speckled frogs, glub, glub. Alrighty, now it's time for our flannel morgue. Check out my ladybug, but she doesn't have any spots. So we're going to do a little song that talks about her ladybug spots. Are you ready? So it goes, ladybug has one spot, one spot, one spot. Ladybug has one spot on her back. we got to put our one up. There's our one. See it? Oh, let's put it closer so you can see it. There it is. There's our one. Now it's time for two. Ladybug has two spots, two spots, two spots. Ladybug has two spots on her back. What number should it be next? That's right, not one, two. There we go, it's a blue two. Okay, how many spots next? Three. Ladybug has three spots, three spots, three spots. Ladybug has three spots on her back. What number? Three. Is this the lit number three? Here's our number three. There it is. That's what the three looks like. Perfect. Alrighty. Now we have four spots. Ladybug has four spots, four spots. Four spots. Ladybug has four spots on her back. We see our number four. There it is. There's the number four. Alrighty, what comes after four? Five. Ladybug has five spots. Five spots. Five spots. Ladybug has five spots on her back back. Ready for our five? There's your five. There it is. Ready, what comes after five? Six. Alrighty, let's do. Ladybug has six spots. Six spots. Six spots. Ladybug has six spots on her back. There's our six. There it is. Gonna take off our five, and now we have six. Comes after six, seven. Ladybug has seven spots, seven spots, seven spots. Ladybug has seven spots on her back. Take off our six. Now we gotta put on our seven, our lucky number seven. There it is, bright blue seven. Alrighty, what comes after seven? Eight. Ladybug has eight spots. Eight spots. Eight spots. Ladybug has eight spots on her back. You ready for your number eight? There it is. There's our number eight. Why does that number eight kind of look like a snowman with or two donut holes on top of it? Hmm? Depends on if you're hungry or not. Comes after eight. Nine. Let's do it. 
Ladybug has nine spots. Nine spots. Nine spots. Ladybug has nine spots on her back. Ready for our nine? There's a big nine. Look at that. A nine for Ladybug. Comes after nine. Ten. That's right. We got to do ten. Ladybug has ten spots. Ten spots. Ten spots. Ladybug has ten spots on her back. Where's our ten? What does a ten look like? That's right. It's a one and a zero. Ten. Should we count to make sure just in case we didn't miss one? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job. So there we are. There's 10. Let me make sure I get it in your vision. Let's do it over here. 10. Oh, I didn't look over it. 10. 9. Comes next. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, and one. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Alrighty, so next week we're going to talk about clouds. Remember I said we're going to start talking about spring stuff? So we're going to talk about clouds, those fluffy things you can see in the sky, and sometimes you can see shapes with them. So we're going to talk about clouds next week. Make sure that you stick around at the end of the video for Miss Molly's craft instruction. We have lots of fun with numbers, and I think there might be some Fruit Loops involved. What? Just don't eat them. I, they've been in the children's office for a little while, so don't eat them, but you can play with them, okay? And then I will see you next week. Remember that we're open for uh, we're open if you want to come in and pick up your craft, or you can do curbside, alrighty? So, until I see you next time, on my face I have a nose, on my feet I have ten toes, ten toes! <laughs> on my face I have a nose, on my feet I have ten toes, I have two eyes that I can blink, and here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. I have two arms I reach up high and with my hands I wave good. Bye. Have a fantastic week guys. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. This week we have a super, super easy craft. Um, we are, since the theme is numbers, we are making little counting sticks with popsicle sticks and fruit loops. So that's really all you need and some glue. Um, maybe a marker. So this is what they will look like when you're all finished. One, two, three, four, five. So you should have these popsicle sticks with numbers on them already. So let's put them in order. This popsicle stick only has one dot, so this is our first one. Let's find one with two. Nope, that's three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So we only need five. I have an extra. All right, and you will have a little baggie of 
Fruit Loops. These are pretty old, so I don't recommend eating them. And we're going to use our glue to glue them on. So you don't have to do it this way, but I will. And it also helps you practice counting a little bit. So I see that I have one popsicle stick here. I need to find the color of Fruit Loops with only one Fruit Loop. Let's see. This red, those, that's three, so that's not right. Hmm. This orange, that's two. Ah! Green, there's only one green, so I know that this goes on my popsicle stick with only one dot. Okay, so I just glued it on to where the dot was and I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, now I have the two popsicle stick. So I need to find the color with only two. Hmm, red has three, oh, orange has two. One, two. One, two, all right. Cool, my two popsicle stick is done. How about my three? Oh, I remember that red has three. One, two, three. One, two, three red Fruit Loops. Okay, let's find four. So my choices are now purple or blue. So let's count purple. One, two, three, four. And we'll count blue too. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I was working on the four, so that means I need purple. So that leaves five, and we have five blue. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five blue Fruit Loops. All right, so when you're done, you can let them dry for a little bit and then you can play counting games with them. Um, another thing that you can do for more practice is have a grown up help you write the numbers at the bottom. So like um, we have one Fruit Loop, so we would write a one. We have two Fruit Loops, so we would write a two three red fruit loops, so we would write a three. Four purple, so we would write a four. And then we would have to write a five somewhere, somewhere on here, pretty tiny. Okay, well, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.